Okay, uh, got a green to red. <coughs> got me a little bleep. So that means one thing. Yamaha J1. No, I haven't done a little uh, guitar and a cold on vlog for quite some time, but I'm having a cold on tonight. Oh, yeah, lovely. This is uh, Carlsberg. I've just had a Guinness. Oh, I love my Guinness. This stuff, been uh, having quite a um, Guinness draft stout. And I only just found out a few weeks back. I haven't drank it for years. I'm just getting back into it. And it's actually brewed in Ireland. So I don't think it used to be because you you know the old Irish um, Guinness tastes. If it's brewed over here, it'll taste nothing like if it's brewed in Ireland because of the water. So yeah, so I've uh, had uh, a draft Guinness and I got a nice cold on, and I just thought I'd have a bit of fun with the JR1. Um, DCG. Well then, if you're learning guitar, they got to be essential chords to learn. Um, I've always said a D is the hardest chord for a beginner. It's not so much, you know, the fretting. It's because it, it uses the bottom three strings or the strings one, two, three. You actually only strum one, two, three, four two top strings, you don't strum. Looks like you are, but you're not. You're only strumming the bottom four strings, but it's the fretting. But, like I say, and there's one or two videos out there saying that, that it always hurts your fingers, and that's why a lot of people give up guitar, because... But, um, yeah, so it's D, but stick at it. You, uh, and if your fingers do start, you know, if you're a beginner watching this, and... You only, you only, you can play a multitude of songs, and I'll show you now with just three chords. Actually, you can get away with two chords, but three chords, and they're the D, C, G. Um, G is not too bad. I play it the three finger. Um, some guitar players they teach it the four finger, but I never taught myself to play it like that. I play it just using three. I got my little. Pinky, well out the way there. It's how you. It's easier to play the three anyway than the than the four. I've not. See, I've got a fiddle about and mess about with that, but that's how I taught myself. That's the G. So it's it's a it's a D C G. Now any combination you can mess about with that, and I think you can actually get. Song books like uh, the three chord trick or the three chord cheats or something they call them, and a lot of songs they just use the uh, whichever combination you want to. The D, C, G, and the classic. It's got to be. Lynyrd Skynyrd, is it? Lynyrd Skynyrd, correct me if I'm wrong, but Sweet Home Al Alabama. Well, that's another thing that I talk about too in my videos, and I think I'm the only guitar player on YouTube that mentions open string strumming. I watch a lot of guitar, and funny enough, I'm not the best guitar player in the world. I get by, but I do watch guitar tutorials. And not one has mentioned open string strumming. Perhaps it's just me. See, I did it there. I'm not fretting anything. So it's the, the D to the C. And I did it there. The C to the G. That bit. But I don't know, perhaps it's just me. I don't know. But I use it a lot in my guitar playing. So in this video, hmm, I 
bloody cold on. So I'm just going to mess about and I'll show you, I'll give you an example. So I will be playing the D, C, G and also open string strumming. They'll be thrown in where I'm not fretting anything. Like I say, I don't know why, perhaps it's just, I don't know why, it's just, there's no, I, why I haven't come across a video where a guitar player will say, well, but I'm not fretting anything. They don't mention it, they go, and it's easier actually, it makes it easier, it gives you that little bit of time, instead of like a D to a C. that little bit of time and it sounds good it sounds good so anyway so like I said it's a, a D or whichever combination but it's a D C G and the classic as I say is Leonard Skinner's uh, Sweet Home at Alabama it just that's the whole song that's all it consists of it just keeps repeating For busking, only three three chords. That's all you need. Three chords, and you can busk. And there's there's, there's loads of others. The only other one I can think of, at the top of my head, is a Guns and Roses, which is is that combination again, which is a D, a C, and a G, and it's a classic, sweet child of mine. Three chords. That's all you need. Sometimes, these these big hits, you know, these rock guitar perhaps, or acoustic guitar, and it's an absolute massive hit. And sometimes they can be the, the easiest songs to play. So I'll give you an example now, Sweet Child of Mine a classic hit, isn't it? Another great busking song, three chords in that, that sequence, C, uh, D, sorry. C and a G. She's got a smile and it seems to me reminds me of childhood memory. Everything was as fresh as that blue sky. Now you can, which I do when I play Sweet Child of Mine, but you don't have to, but it's, it's so simple. Just off the D. Like I say, you don't have to, but it basically it's a D. She's gonna smile and it seems to me G all the way through, albeit there was open string strumming, which perhaps it's just me, perhaps it's just me that does it. So yeah, oh nice cold one going down, and then I'll show you now, I'll just do a bit of a, just freestyle whacking about, which you can do for good, good for busking, and all I'll be using is in Certain combinations is the, the D, C, G, and open string strums. So just just make it up as you go along. Just 
just mess about. D, C, G. These are the chords you need to learn. Essential chords are uh, DCG in any combination, but like I said, uh, some of the classics, such as, like I say, Leonard Skinner, I'm sure it's Leonard Skinner, isn't it? It's the uh, sweet old man, but uh, that is it, and like I said, you know, like I played earlier. Uh, she's got a smile and seems to me. Basically, it's four chords, but <laughs> so that's it. Another slurp of the cold one. Oh, lovely! So, yeah, essential guitar chords. With the Yamaha J01, I haven't played anything else for since I bought this. I don't think I've played my electrics. I've got two electric guitars, and I have my old F310 Yamaha F310. Um, 99 quid I paid for that many many moons ago. Uh, but I haven't played anything else since I bought this. Oh, I absolutely love this guitar. I absolutely and it's the same strings. Uh, it's well over a year old now, and the strings are hold they're holding out well, perfect for me. Eventually, I've got spares and that, but I'm uh, not any time soon. I'm going to be changing them because they sound good. fire with this one. <laughs> shall I? Shall I? Or what? No. Oh. Dangerously, I tell you. Uh. Right, so uh, anyway. of going otherwise I'll be playing here all night so that's it so yeah just thought I'd uh, 
D, C, G. You need to learn those chords if you're a beginner. Play any song you want, or just, like I've proved, just mess about. Play them in any combination and it sounds good. But you have to include, or do you have to include, perhaps it's just me, open, open string strumming. Perhaps it's just me. Anyway, I'm going. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped if you're a beginner. And I'll see you again.